but all I can see is the plate. Okay. That's all I can I see. Want to tip. So I guess I need to tip up so we can see. Here we go. Ooh, look at that. So is that porcelain or stoneware or what? It's a stoneware. It has a little bit of porcelain on it. It's called big clay. But it's not too much porcelain. Just enough to make it white. Just enough to make it white? Whiter, you know, the clay. Huh. That's why you sh I usually use white clay. I just don't like the brown clay. So, like... That helps me with the glazes. The whiter clay, the better the glaze look. For my... For your stuff, yeah, yeah, stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's like... You can go. Okay. I'm filming. I can do it. So you're making a vase or a um, bowl? I'm going to try to make a vase. So first, well, they say that whatever you're going to throw, you start with a cylinder. Okay. A straight up cylinder, as high as you can go. And then once you bring all the clay up, then you start shaping whatever you want to do. I thought you said you were a messy thrower. You're very yeah, clean uh, here. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm trying to for the video to be good. <laughs> <laughs> So now I'm gonna bring it up and try to shape it as much as I can and I'm not gonna try to bring all the clay down because that's when I ruin it so for the video we are just gonna make a decent shape and then just later I have to trim a lot She's gonna put Ricky Martin's face on my face. <laughs> face on yet it's just Basically your hands same type and that's as tall as we're gonna go so we can throw a decent base but to me it takes me a lot longer to reshape it and then I kind of ruin it and all that but they go a little like this, so it looks like a decent mix. Does it look like a decent base? Yeah, it's not wobbling at all. It's completely... Yeah. Yeah. Well, that didn't take long. No. I mean, there is a bunch of clay on the bottom that I can bring up. I mean, I can't. If you're a good thrower, you can bring up. But I'm not going to do that because that's when I ruin my piece. <laughs> Caroline is a better thrower than me. He says you're a better thrower than he is. Mary is one of the best, I can say. Well, Mary should be. Mary's been throwing pots for, what, 
50, 50 years, so she better be better than you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she definitely. If I have that many years on me. <laughs> well, that's a neat little tool. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, to, it's to make the rim. Hold the, it right here. Right here? So. Yeah, so we can see. Well, let me clean it. Let me clean it really <laughs> It's clean. This is a really good tool to make that the rim. You can make this so you shape. have it. Hold and it like, then the, hold it like uh, that. There you go. And the bottom of the pots mm -hmm. that make a really nice food. Uh, you need to know how to use it. You can Google it and, and look for videos. <laughs> uh, no, I, I'm, I'm serious. Uh, I, uh -huh. don't, I don't use it for all that it's for. Uh-huh. Uh, because I haven't watched the whole video, but you can do a lot of things with that tool. It's pretty cool. All right. All I right. That it. looks nice. That looks nice. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is a babe that has eight times a world winner will do. <laughs> eight time award winning ceramicist uh, yes. Ruben Ruiz. A Ruiz. couple best of show. No, one best of show, one second place best of show. And the rest are not that great, but. They had a worse. The others not so they, great. They yeah. added up so you can say eight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I, I have two best of shows. Two best of shows. Two best of shows. Lovely. Valley Junction and the other one somewhere in the morning. Nice. All right. That looks beautiful. All right, so there's a throne. Base. And it's, I will probably alter or add the stuff to it and mm -hmm. make it nicer. Do you want me to throw something else or are we done? Whatever you want to do. How about if I throw a bowl? That would be great. And then we're going to film Caroline and pretend that it's me. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even, I'm like practicing throwing off the home. So. <laughs> Say hi Caroline. <laughs> do we sit across from each other so you don't stare down? <laughs> It's a throwdown. Oh, that would be fun to see. And we're having a throwdown. Looks so fun and satisfying. And for people that have never thrown in their life, it looks so difficult. Well, no, it looks easy. That's oh, yes, yeah. I'm it sorry. Looks easy, yes. and then they do it, and then yeah. they're like, ah, my, my bowl is wobbly. <laughs> oh, please, I can do that on my sleep. Okay. <laughs> They say that the key of barrel throwing is to center as perfect as, as, as you can. Right. Most of the time I don't do that. Well, it looks pretty good because there's it no does, wobble on the edge. Cause you don't see it, but until you are here and feel it, you oh. can feel it a little bit. Um, it's not perfect. It's not bad. I have seen worse. <laughs> So this Little tool, tiny you tiny can tiny. trim the, the rim of the pots mm -hmm. very nicely. You can do this by hand, but you need to be a more skilled thrower. <laughs> and remember, I'm not. Yeah, stop it, Ruben. You are. I hope you don't need octopus cups because I took seven to Raymond Garden and I sold the seven of them. <sighs> I, I, I make the mistake to take all of them.
Well, the mistake no, to no, take off the world. that's so, not a mistake. No, it is because the octagon is so good to me that you know. <laughs> I don't want to be well then why the aren't you throwing octopus mugs for me right here well they are not gonna be ready for July but I'm gonna be making a bunch so make the three ones that you have last if somebody want to buy it not yet not yet <laughs> <laughs> well maybe if somebody comments on the video they can mm -hmm. win a chance at uh, oh, first yes. pick on your next batch of octopus mugs. No, we can give it for free. For free? Like a, like a winner of the comments. Aww. Yes, I no. can give away one. I, I'm nice. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs>
want to make a full flower so the first set of petals are going to go upside down ah that will make the flower more full i don't really do this often And all I need to do is go from size to size with the petals. You know, I start with the bigger ones. This is very fun to watch. Is it? I totally get, yeah, absolutely. I totally geek out on this. Thank you for telling me that I've been doing for so long that sometimes I lose the fun, which I need. <laughs> so let's talk about that. How long you been doing this? About, because I want to look younger, so I always say 15 <laughs> years, but it's more like over 18 years. Yeah, so you're... And yeah. you started learning this when you were living in California? Yes, I start, I just took a throwing class. And then um, I realized that I want to put flowers on it. That's how everything starts. Uh, I have to teach myself how to do the flowers. Did you see uh, an artist that inspired no. you? Or you um, just... I probably did, you know. Mm -hmm. as, here or there, but I, I, it's not like I focus on that. It was just that the first plate that I made, hand built actually, not throw it. It was a hand built plate. I put a calla lily because outside my house I have a bunch of calla lilies. And that was my mother's favorite flower. So mm -hmm. that's how everything started. And then to make these flowers, I have to, I couldn't find any classes on how to make them. So I have to teach myself. And most likely is that, and we're going to try the center. <laughs> Not annoying you at all, am I? No. <laughs> and so there you go. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. So I'm going to make another one on the side for that all one. Right. I have to sit down. All right. And you have this bowl of slurry here. This yes. is your, kind of your glue. Yes. Eliza, who, you know, is an emerging artist mm -hmm. and uh, is does ceramics. She, she, <laughs> she wonders. Your your work is so detailed, mm -hmm. and there's there's a lot of work in it. But I think we can see how fast you are. I mean, you've got everything pre prepped. That that's the part that takes the time to prepare I mean that's petals. gotta take a long time yes so it took me this morning to make that bunch of petals and everything was prepared that's why we're looking fast right um uh it's just a matter of having the path and then decide what what I want to do what kind of flower arrangement I want to put on it and then it goes faster the application but the process to get to this is what it takes me some time Mm -hmm. And that's why some people think that I work really fast. Mm -hmm. But yeah. But that does help. I mean, you're organized. Y yes. And because in order in order to do that, I mean, do you think you've you've gotten faster as years have gone on? Yes, so, definitely. So your your profit margin is a little bit up compared to the amount of time that you've spent. Yes. Yes, it used to take me a lot longer, and not only that, I used to lose a lot more pieces before. That's oh. the other issue, you yeah. know, because I, I finished this right now, and it's going to look fine, but that doesn't mean that it's going to survive the whole process, because that how delicate everything is. Mm -hmm. It can break easy here and there during the whole process up to the glaze part. Right, because it can go, I mean... Because it's still got to dry more before you can put it in the first firing. Uh, yes. Um, 
it depends the kind of flower that it is uh is how easy it is to be to dry like a flower like this i think it's the way it's attached is uh it's more likely that it's gonna survive it's not gonna crack but like for example a calla lily mm -hmm. uh, because the clay when it's drying is uh, shrinking and pulling a lot of times it's, it will crack so this one big petal yes this type of flower most likely survive but i will have to let it dry at least a couple of weeks oh really yes before i um before i biscuit because it has to be completely bone dry wow i hear i thought it would just be no. um you know a couple of days and it, it depends the kind of clay too if it's porcelain clay i I usually let it dry three, four weeks. You're doing something sneaky without telling me. Okay, this is, is going to be a, like a, how do you call it? A, a bud? A, yes, so uh, I will make it a little bit different. I will form the flower first, so it's all close. And it's just the same idea, going from the smallest petal to the bigger ones until I get a decent... Yeah, so it's kind uh, of the reverse of yes. what you just did. And we are going to put it right here. And see, that's why I need them soft, the petals, so right. I can move them around. If they are dry, I cannot, I'm not able to do something like that. So I will just squat on the back. And then you go very careful on the very center. Ooh. And make sure that get attached. It's because that's, it. that's what I want is to make <laughs> sure that it's very attached to the pot. Otherwise, it will just separate. Mm -hmm. When it dries, it'll yeah. just, yeah. It'll just pop right off. And, and I'm that's probably happened before. They uh, pop off and you find them yes. in the kiln. Or... Through the years, I learned the tricks here and there to, to avoid things. But at the beginning, it used to be really difficult. That's what I said. I used to lose a lot of pieces at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you can see it there. Oh, that's lovely. Mm -hmm. I may have to put an apple on the bottom later. <laughs> if I don't like it. <laughs> so, yeah. When I do a pot, I just need to make sure that the petals are not touching each other. Oh. To the lid. Because oh, then they will right. get sit. So I just need to make sure that it's... There is a space between of them. Yeah. There. And that is done. Oh my goodness. Just that's just magic. <laughs> <laughs> so you want me to do the other one right now? Sure. Or? Whatever you want to do. Okay, we're gonna do one more and I think I don't have anything else to do unless you want me to do something else. Alright. Tango dance or something. Oh yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's go, ready? <laughs> Do you like to dance, Ruben? No. Ah. No, I am so embarrassed. When I was little in, in elementary school, I used to dance all the time, you know, at school, school dances. Uh-huh. And then I grow and, no, never. And, oh, we need to go dancing, dude. No. Yeah. Nobody made me dance. Ron doesn't make you dance? No, oh, please, no. Ron doesn't like to dance either? No. Ah, oh, you guys are boring. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, I forgot to tell you that I need to clean the flowers oh. later on. Well, I can say it after this one. Yeah, okay. All the little imperfections. So, okay. All right, so this one you said you didn't want We are going to gonna do the same idea with a little bit more flowers. So, That's what I make more petals. And you already you spent a lot of time adding yes, texture to these. Yes, and. And again, like mm -hmm. I said, you know, I tried to make about three different mm -hmm. sizes mm -hmm. from the big one to the smaller one. And sometimes I will go smaller for the center. So how did you, did you just use a tool to just mm -hmm. carve some little lines in there? I'm trying to show. It's actually, um, uh, what is it for? For cake, I think. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. All right. All right. So it's going to be the same idea. We're going to score, and I'm going to start with a bigger flower at the top. And we're going to try to make it a little bit more flowers on this one. To show. 
this, the tool. The have. tool. That is the most one of the most important tool that I have for this kind of hand building. And it's um, pretty. I don't know if you want to tell that to your people, but you want to spend money on a good one because the cheap ones are not good. <laughs> if you are planning to buy one, spend good money. <laughs> if you think it's too much, it's not. <laughs> All right. So. All right. So, it's the very same idea. Sorry. Same idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you were in California. I was in Orange County, California. That's where the studio was at. I didn't live there, uh -huh. but I was there in the city of Burbank. Uh -huh. And I have the most wonderful teacher. Okay. Taught me how to throw. He was the best. What was his name? His name is Garrett. How do you say his name? Garrett. Garrett. G A R R E T T. Garrett. Yeah. Yeah. A striker or something like that, like Kelly. He was the best. If you can hire for the octagon. <laughs> <he would. laughs> but he's probably still. He teaches still in there. a high school. Yeah. Oh, he teaches in. So were you in high school when you, was he no. your high school teacher or no, or no you no. were at a studio he there? He was my age. No, um, he, he was a teacher at the high school and a teacher at the art center where I went at uh -huh. the same time. Um, and I actually used to go once a year to demonstrate to his students, which he was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. So how did you, what made you start Get pottery? There. Did you just... Did it was just... funny story. Oh. I always like to paint. I like always like art in general, but painting was my thing. I thought. Oh. So I used to paint a lot. I mean, all kind of mediums, and uh, but I was never good. So one day I was looking for an art center to take a class, and uh, Ron worked at that city, and he told me about it. So I went there looking for an art class, and everything was full at the moment. Only ceramics was open, one class. And they told me about it. And I said, okay. They gave me a tour of the art center. And I went there. And I thought that was the most boring thing in the world. To throw really? the wheel. Mm -hmm. Really? I was like, why do you want me to learn that? So I didn't take that class. And I took a portrait sculpture class with ceramics, with clay. You took a, a what? A portrait. Portrait, portrait sculpture? Yeah. Uh -huh. And um, I didn't like it. <laughs> and then uh, uh, I decided to try ceramics after that, and um, and I fell in love with clay after that. And and you said Ron was the one who found the art center. Well, he worked for the same city, so he knew about it. He was connected with the, with the city uh -huh. through the city. He knew the lady that ran the art center, and he told me about it. And I went there, and, yeah, uh -huh. and I never left. So so you took. So it was a portrait, it was a painting class, the portrait class? No, it was a, a, a sculpture. Uh, we were making like a sculpture. How do you say that? Out of, out of what? Out of clay. Like oh. sculpture bust? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. So, oh, okay. Funny thing, well, all the, it was about 15 students and we were making a, 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 somebody from a magazine pictures. And when we finish it, each sculpture looks like the person who was making it. My sculpture looked like me. The problem was, it was a girl, so it was not pretty. <laughs> not at all. I would die to see that sculpture. Do you uh, have it? No, Did you I keep it? it. No, you I you, you trashed it? it? Yeah. Oh, Ruben. And then ceramics come, and I never left ceramics. So you, try, you, you, you tried the, the, the wheel, even though it looked boring? I have to because that was the next class that was available. So <laughs> yeah, and uh, here's the thing: I I tried the class was a uh, A sessions class, and I quit after the second week. After the second class, I say no, this is not for me. Uh, uh, after taking throw, the wheel class? After uh, throwing for a couple of weeks, I said no, it's not really? for me. Really? And I went hand building, and then 
uh, my teacher told me, you have to learn. So I apply myself and learn how to throw. And that was Garrett who got you Yeah, done. yeah. Well, that, thank goodness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but your hand building is quite beautiful too, which we should show some pieces of that when wow. you're done with this. Okay. So it's Ron's fault that you that you're yes. into this. Yeah, and then he complained because I did around. <laughs> yeah, I just show. So, mm -hmm. so did you guys move to Ames from California? Yes. That was your he next got move. Got that job at Animal Shelter, and, and uh, we came here and fell in love with Iowa. Aww. Um, at that the first time that I came actually to Ames, it was at we got here at midnight. And he said, let's go to downtown looking for something to eat. And I went to downtown and I want to cry because there was nothing around. <laughs> and I was, oh, my God, I'm going to live here. <laughs> Where is the mall? Oh. Yeah, but then, you know, when you see it through the day and then. We must have. Yeah, we fell in love with Ames. That's lovely. Never went back. No desire to go back to no, California. Not, well, not no. We don't have the desire. And, and the other thing is, once you move out of California, most likely you cannot afford to go back. Yeah, that's what I hear. Yeah. Um. So, how did you get to California? I mean, what brought you there? Love. I mean, oh. I, do I say that in the video? Do I yes. Don't have, no, no, no. I don't want to That's say that. That's wonderful. That's how I came to the United States. Um, That's all Ron's fault 20, for that too. Twenty-three years ago. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's a long time. Oh. Yep. It is a long time. It is. How long have you been married? Thirty-one years. Wow. Can oh, I ask? Goodness. Can I ask how you met Ron? We met Do you remember? to friends in Mexico. He used to go over there to Mexico because he lived in LA County and uh, I was living in Tijuana, which is about two hours. Oh, sure. So yeah. a lot of Americans go to Tijuana. Right, for vacation. For, and... for fun, for the weekend. So we have friends in common in, in Mexico. And Aww. I used to work in a lab. In a lab? Doing, uh, how do you call a person who draw the blood? Oh, here. yeah, uh, a phlebotomist. Yes, that's what I was. Serious? Yes. Wow. For, uh, you, you could administer the vaccine. I worked <laughs> doing that for 12 years, my whole life. Really? Oh, I, I got out of high school and I started working doing that. Yep, I used to do that. That's that's a fun tidbit of information about Ruben. Yeah, but I never liked it, but I did. Phlebotomist to Potter. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of a kind of a switch, yeah. don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> kind of, obviously. <laughs> so we're gonna make a couple of uh, how do you call them bats? Mm -hmm. See, so you form the flower, and sometimes it's easier to form it this way. The problem is to attach it; it's a little right. bit more difficult. Because you gotta end up with a yeah. It's so much easier when you build a flower on the pot. Well, you make it look easy. That's for sure. It's um, it it's just uh that you have to put it and then fix it and then redo it again. And like I said, just go inside there and make sure that it's attached. So here it's more like. Isn't that lovely? fun that you have to make sure I'm working upside down so kind of ah oh, just gorgeous oops yeah that's and all I need to do is do, knock off your petals we're gonna do just one more a couple more to make wow. more cool and see again it's so easy so fast when you have everything ready yeah yep But still, it took you half a day to yes. to make all those petals. Well, to finish the piece, to finish it uh, before any fire, it will take at least a whole day, you know, because I started throwing yesterday. Mm -hmm. Throwing yesterday and trimming today. And um, So 
I'm just putting it in there and trying to hide the mess inside mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with the same petals. And all you want is to make sure that it got attached at some point. Mm -hmm. And there you go. And so it stays on. And like I said before, the so what I'm going to let it dry. Almost leather hard. And then I'm going to clean out those little, see those little mistakes? Mm -hmm. All those messy. Just to make sure that it's going to look decent. So what do you like to make more? Your flowers? Birds? Um, I like everything. Uh, lately I'm doing the birds more realistic, which should take me a lot of time. Uh, yeah. I will say at least three to four hours to finish one bird, but it looks way better when I did look in pictures. And to make it a lot more realistic because it's fun because then you know what kind of bird it is bird mm -hmm. and then it looks you know it looks like a real one so that's what i'm doing lately maybe the octagon shop is gonna get one one day well no we have a couple yeah i i, I make my uh, own version of the bird you know and that's a lot faster you know yeah and because that's I, okay I'm, yes and they, i make them look the best i can uh but i prefer to make them more realistic because then when somebody comes and they know you know and especially if they study birds and then they go, yes, same thing with the sea life, you know, mm -hmm. I have this lady in California that she, that's what, that was her job. And she come and buy one of my coral reef pieces. She goes, yeah, I love it. I'm going to buy it, but I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> and she stopped pointing the mistake. So, well, yes. but there, you don't have to be a realist, no. you know, and you can take artistic license with your and I Sculptures. like making them that way because I like to please people, I think. Mm -hmm. you know? uh, that's why I like to make them. But I prefer, I, I like better make them my own version because it's like my thing, you know. I uh, yeah. yeah, I think you should not stop doing that. Yeah. I mean, there are people who are birders who want to have that realistic, you know, looking like bird. But then there's people who just, you know, geek out over how awesome your stuff is it's a ah. commission this lady asked me to do that uh-huh so actually she won a a, <laughs> a dragonfly oh yeah mm -hmm. so that's what it is yeah maybe the will get a few at some point yes so many things to do you know I know, right? Because you could make a whole bunch of tiles. This and... is my favorite because it's raining on him. Mm. <laughs> Just because of that. So where are you putting your pieces as they dry before the bisque fire? Do you uh, have a special spot? They are sitting on my studio until... Because so I in here? Them. Yes. You want to see in there? Yeah. See. So I let them dry around here. So oh, the I air can... comes more. These are already dry. And like I said, I, I let them dry. These are bone dry totally. But uh, before they get to that stage, I have to clean them. And these are done. Now I move them to the kiln room for the fire. Oh, okay. So you got to yeah. clean them. Do you have to yes. uh, kind of sand them a little bit or something? Not or... sanding. It's more clean with the sponge and the brush. Oh, I go sure. through oh, every single petal and clean again. Just to make them look a little better. Oh, my. Oh, and here's a bird. And Yep. Hey, birdie. Oh, so pretty. Gotta... Oh, it's this fine. One, this one is already busted. Oh, my too. goodness. So this is a this? series of baskets that I'm making. Lovely. Oh, that turned out really good. Hopefully the labor place will work. <sighs> I don't get attached to my pieces until they are totally. Until they're hard. totally, yeah, you try not to. And so this, it looks like a slab built yes, piece yes. there. Yes, that, for that, I will make a pattern on this kind of plastic i make sure. my own patterns mm -hmm. and then cut them and put it together yeah because how many years you've been throwing pots 20. uh let's not go that far probably 18. <laughs> i will set a, a for sure 18 years old 18 years i mean uh-huh yeah i got better with the years yeah well i would hope so <laughs> You know. Now that I see my base, it's not the greatest base, and that's why it's on the video. <laughs> Are you gonna crush it? No, I'm, no, no, no. I can fix it. I'm gonna run it a little better. Oh, oh! You think it's not? What's no, wrong it's not, with it's it? The 
that shape. I can make it work adding a stuff, but uh, not like that. I, I'm probably gonna have to fix that shape. It's just not right. So do you see yourself uh, doing this for another 10, 15, 20 years? Not 15, maybe just five to 10. Really? Yeah. And then time to retire and yes. go have fun? Yes. Ron is retiring in 10 years, so <gasps> I will retire. Yeah. Years, so yeah. And then you guys can yes. hopefully have... I like do you, you like to travel? What do you guys like? Not really. Yeah. Really? We are not fun people. You're not. You don't You're, go dancing. You don't, go dancing. Don't, train. you don't travel. You don't... We, yeah, no. I travel more than him yeah. a lot more. Right. right. I go to Mexico at least twice a year. So. Yeah. Well, you probably have family, right? That you need to see. All my family is over there. Yeah. Is your mom still around? No, my mom oh. died. She actually didn't get to see my work. <gasps> she died yeah. that long ago? Yeah. Oh. I wish she saw it. She did. So every calla lily yeah, has, a little, right. has a little mom yeah. memory in it yeah. then, right? Yeah. I think she would have loved it because I remember one time I made some watercolor flowers. Oh. And... Um, I was just having fun and nothing special, and she, I would throw them away, and she saw them. They are so beautiful. Aww. I picked them up and put them on the wall. I said, "Oh, mom, that is not a." Here, let's come over here. They're talking. <laughs> she said, "What? What did she say?" She said uh, that they were beautiful, but I didn't think they were nice at all. So, uh, but she liked them, so I assume she's gonna like my work. She would have <laughs> liked my work. I yeah, absolutely. Oh look, all these are bisque ready to. Ooh. I have to wax the bottom, and then All they are right. ready to apply the glaze. So yeah, so you got a little wax on there. Yeah. Cute. So a little bud vase then? No, that's that's a totem. A what? All of those pieces is. Oh, the totems. Yeah. Yeah. So all of those pieces are gonna make one. Yeah. Wow. That'll look great on somebody's porch. Yeah. Oh, you didn't get to see the other one. Yes. It was uh, very, yeah, where's all the stuff that we that you pulled out of the kiln? We went to Raymond Garden and got all, all the cups. Are all, you serious? All the cups, bases. The gecko? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, the <sighs> pitcher didn't sell, but the other ones, most of them sell. All the cups got sold, all the bad bases. <sighs> oh my god. Well, we should stop talking to you then so you can... <laughs> So you can make more stuff. Yeah. I just saw another bird because I'm a bird nerd. So this oh, guy, one. yeah. Oh, and look at that one up there. It's like birding in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> you can find it. And dragonfly. I enjoy making birds. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Well, Ruben, thank you so much. We did a good job. I think so. Thank you. Okay, wait. Here we are at Casa, and we're gonna open up. Just this is a gas kiln, guess, yeah, well, yeah. and it's full of some stuff yes. made so. by Ruben and Greg. And do you have some? No. 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 Just, me just oh, okay. So just Greg and Ruben have filled this puppy up. So, so this is the finished product. We fired on Tuesday. On Tuesday, it took about eight to nine hours. And then it got up to 2200 degrees. Okay. And we have your... to cool it down until about 200 degrees. Uh -huh. So it's ready to be open and low. And this is a gas fired kiln yes. and it has like these brick. Oh, oh, there's the, that's it the exhaust. Yeah. yeah, the chimney. And okay. Very exciting. All right. Here we go. Okay. Let's see what it looks like. Wow. Ooh, it's still warm. something new. It may be still hot to the point that I'm going to need to use gloves. Uh-huh. But it's ready to be unloaded. Oh, look at how fun is that. Oh, oh, look at down there. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> oh, and then here's the, you've got these and do that again because uh -oh. I hit the button and it stopped. <laughs> <laughs> I got too excited and I shut off the filming because I was so excited. Okay, so explain the cones again. Okay, we have these, these weird the little triangle we, things. Yeah, it guided us through the fire, and we decided to go to cone nine, which are the ones that fell. 
6, 8, and 9, and the last one standing up is cone 10. All right, so you know that the temperature was good, and you've got another one up here, so same, that shelf fired good, and you probably have some more set farther back in. Okay, and it's still warm, oh, but it's not... Fine. Ooh. I'm gonna put my pieces here. All right. Sweet. An iris. I know, I was, yes, I love that. See, now that one's got some scaly bump bumps. Look at him. <laughs> oh. Wow. That's a part of a pattern. That's how you say it? What's that? That's a part of a pattern. How do you say that? Oh, a totem? A totem, yeah. Oh, so that's just one piece of it. Yes, it will go from green to yellow. This is the very top. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So it goes back quite a ways then. It's yeah. a lot. It's a really big kiln. We can put a lot of pieces in there. Oh, and look at that. Oh, that color is just... Oh, people are going to love that. Oh, look at the octopus mugs. Yay. Oh, look at the little birdie. Hello, birdie. That, I'm loving that vase. Ooh, ooh, so exciting. This one you use too. This one's just empty, that's, ready that's to. Actually Mary Steel, oh, isn't it? It's the only one that you see because it, it fires. Sometimes you'd fire stuff in the electric kiln. In a different cone, yes. Yes. Oh, but look at that. That's, that's look nice. at that. Wow. That turned out good. I love how you say wow at your own stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you're happy with it. <laughs> Your birds are getting really good. Oh my gosh. I just finished a exciting. You oh. know, I've been doing this for how long and I feel like I cannot wait to open the key. 